Choke, no joke, chiggy choke, no joke. Choke, no joke, chiggy choke, no joke. You know what it is. We here now. Choke, no joke, you already know. Truth be told all day, every day, even on a holiday. Even on your birthday, even on your anniversary. Now check it, right? Breaking news, which ain't really breaking, because as we know, as I predicted, once Diddy got locked up and once he got bail revoked, he wasn't going to get a bail, that there was going to be more and more and more and more people coming out. Well, this is only his one week down and excuse me, in the last week, I believe he had at least two to three people come out, right? So now we got a new one today, right? This girl is saying that she met Diddy a while ago. She been dealing with him for a while. Um, I don't even think I'm gonna read through this lawsuit because they all gonna say basically the same thing, that they victims now that he's in all this trouble. Uh, this woman here is claiming to have uh, been impregnated by Diddy, right? She's been impregnated and she had a miscarriage according to her civil suit, right? Now, I want y'all to remember that all these lawsuits that's coming up aren't criminal. Meaning none of these people went to the police when they had all these allegations, but it is a, a great convenient time now that he's in all this trouble to now come with a lawsuit. But you, you know, you didn't care to file criminal charges. You didn't press no charges on him, but you, you know, you're gonna uh, file a lawsuit to try to get some money, right? Not saying that you're not a victim, young lady, or old lady, or lady, right? But this, this is my thing. Just like Cassie, this person, and I'm, please, ladies, I understand there's victims that scared to go to the police when it happens. But there are plenty of women out here that will call your ass, call the police on your ass as soon as you put your hand on them, or even thinking that you're gonna put their hand on them. And there's some women that they gonna call their cousins, their brothers, their nephews, their uncles, and they gonna get that uh, street justice, right? But there are some women that will sit there and get abused 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 until they realize one day that they're a victim. Those women do exist. Don't get me wrong, right? But uh, usually that ends at some point with some type of police report. Not saying all these women that come out against Diddy, you know, maybe they not snitches. You know, all these women out here that, you know, Cassie, maybe she ain't no snitch. That's why she didn't call the police. Or maybe the Spanish girl, Thalia. Maybe she don't know, mess with the, the popo, papi. She don't mess with the police, papi. She don't call the police, you know? She called the lawyer. She called the Gloria. She called Gloria get her more justice than the papi, the police, papi, you know? They call Gloria. They call the lawyer and they don't call no popo, papi. They no snitches. They no snitches, papi. You know, they ain't no snitches. They call the lawyer. They don't know call the police on you. Okay, papi? Okay. Now, also, my point for uh, Diddy is this now. Like I said, I'm never defending Diddy. As you can see, God is giving him the karma that he's deserved. So none of us got to do nothing. If Diddy is this goddamn demon, that everybody's depicting him to be, he where he's supposed to be. We ain't got to do nothing but let God do his work, right? But legally, this is my advice to you, Diddy, at this point. 
do not take this to trial. If you want to have another day with your kids, brother, the quicker you work out a plea deal, the quicker you're going to get uh, this case to be over, the quicker you'll start doing your time, the quicker you'll start coming home, right? Because I'm telling you, Diddy, take my word for it. I've been right so far when it comes to you in this, this case with all your ex-employees going on the internet throwing you, <coughs> throwing you under the bus. <coughs> I told you this was going to happen. I told you to lawyer up. I have not been wrong yet, Diddy, right? So here's my next advice for you, Diddy. If anybody listening that give him my words, if he wasn't listening, I'm sure he's probably listening right now. Diddy, sit down with your lawyers, sit down with the prosecutor, work yourself out a deal, brother. Because the longer you wait to go to trial, the more these women are going to come up, like R. Kelly. And then in a minute, you're going to have an influx of people making allegations against you. And people ain't going to be able to d differentiate who's lying and who's telling the truth. Because I know all these women ain't telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? 100%. And being that you're vulnerable to the world due to the fact that of uh, the charges and the allegations that you got against you and none of your friends or sitting out here trying to uh, be character witnesses to you because they all scared because they all party with you, which doesn't mean that they had sex or did any, went to any sex parties, but the fact that they seen at your parties on video, they scared to uh, st stand up for you. And there's a lot of suckers out here. It's a lot of suckers. I mean, a lot of suckers out here. And some of y'all, should shut up, right? Some of y'all should shut up. Ray J, you should shut up. Do not act like you wasn't out here playing uh, in, in, in the peanut butter jar. You know people know you was playing in the peanut butter jar. Stop playing, bro. You're going to find yourself in a bad, bad position because you don't know what's on those tapes. But you do know you was at that house. You do know you played with peanut butter in your life, right? So you gotta be quiet, bro. You need to be quiet. Meek Mill, you need to be quiet. You make your, you and Ray J, y'all make yourselves look so goddamn guilty. Meek Mill, you need to be quiet, bro. You need to be quiet, leave it alone. Just let ever whatever's gonna come out, come out for the dumb uh he she uh bloatitious skeevy delicious for them joints in the A come out and be coon coon give me good eh, from Hollis to Hollywood but is he good like brother chill out you better chill out yeah yeah <laughs> yo I don't know get like. You and Ray J, man, y'all don't have nothing to prove. Stop trying to prove stuff to these people you don't have anything to prove to. Okay? If you don't have nothing to prove to these people, stop getting on the internet, getting on Twitter, doing these interviews, trying to make yourself not look guilty. It, it, it just makes it worse, bro. Yeah, yeah. My last advice, right? My last advice goes out to the good brother, Curtis Jackson. 50, I'm telling you, brother, Take my word. You got to be very careful 
All this, trust me, bro. All the people that don't like you, watching you tear Diddy down and 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 contributing to putting this documentary together and and, and kicking Diddy while he's down. I'm not saying you don't have the right to, right? I'm just telling you, 50, you better be careful because all that you're doing to Diddy, as soon as they get a scandal on you, bro, nobody's going to have sympathy for you. Why? Because they watching what you're doing to Diddy. And that's just black man to black man, right? And I know you're going to say, oh, nigga, I don't care. Diddy, he did this, this, that, and the third. I don't know what he did, right? I'm not saying he, he didn't do any of this, right? But I'll, I'll know for sure when he, he reaches court and he's convicted. But the way you kicking his back in, bro, I'm telling you, 50, you know how this industry is, bro. You going to be next. This is probably going to be Jay-Z. After Jay-Z, they going to be coming after you. They going to come in after your money. They going to be coming after your publishing. At when you getting ready, could get close to that 35 mark to get your stuff back. I know it's entertaining for you and you joking and whatever, but trust me, brother. I'm going to be out here saying the same thing, defending you when it comes to these allegations that nobody goes to the police about. So I know it's, it's fun to kick Puff back in and see him down. You know what I'm saying? I seen you laughing supreme when that nigga got jail time. So I, I know how diabolical you can be. But brother, I'm telling you, 50, this ain't no shade, this ain't no hate. This is one brother looking out for another brother that's watched like I wasn't defending R. Kelly, right? But I see what they do to us. And you are sitting here helping destroy us. Regardless to what Diddy did, I understand. I'm not defending Diddy. Let that nigga burn for what he did, right? But remember what I'm telling you, 50. It's going to be a time when the, the, the joint turn and it's going to, the focus is going to be on you. And you see how everybody, is, nobody sitting here defending Diddy? You know what I'm saying? You see how everybody's on social media dogging him and they cheering you on, sending you stuff? Yeah, 50-50. Those are going to be the same exact people when you got your feet to the fire, they gonna be throwing matches. Gasoline. Watch. These people don't have no loyalty, bro. They don't have no loyalty, 50. So, um, the more you go in on Puff, just remember, those same people that stand in there with the torches helping you burn them, when they, when they put you on the stake, they gonna be doing the same shit. You know these niggas don't like you. <laughs> you know Diddy down with all the suckers. And you know they don't like you. So, brother, I'm praying for you. God, knock on word for you. All that. Easy, 50. Because I'm telling you, they going to turn on your ass next. All right? Choke no joke. I holler back. Peace.